We have deeply embedded the use of plastic into our daily lives. We use it in much of our food and drink packages, in many synthetic clothing, in furniture and in toys. However, at least 50% of the plastic made is single-use plastic. But how can something disposable be so indestructible? In the 1950s, when plastic first came into use, the global production was 2 million tonnes per year. Now, just seven decades later, we have increased global production by nearly 200-fold, reaching more than 380 million tonnes of plastic every year. To put it into perspective, it's roughly the mass of two-thirds of the global human population. Plastic waste near coastal regions is at highest risk of entering the ocean. It is estimated that almost 12 million tonnes enters the ocean each year. Over time, the heat of the sun, the light, the oxygen and microbes will break down the plastic into small pieces. Microplastics is a term used for plastics measuring 5 mm or less, approximately the size of a grain of rice. There are two types of microplastics. Primary microplastics, which have been engineered to be this way, for example microbeads or glitter, and secondary microplastics, which are fibres or fragments of a once bigger material. They have been found both in fresh and saltwater environments, in deep sea habitats, and even in animals. From the very bottom of the food chain being consumed by plankton to the very top of the food chain. When an organism ingests or is caught in plastic, it can cause physical impacts like blockages and abrasions. It can also cause chemical impacts by the toxins absorbed into the body. Plastic has been found to be ingested by at least 233 marine species, including all species of marine turtles and many cetaceans. Plastic pollution is significantly impacting the global ocean and in Gibraltar it is no different. Locally, there have been three dolphin deaths directly attributed to plastic pollution. The Nautilus Project, a marine educational group focused on raising public awareness, has organised a total of 50 beach cleans. A total of 1,947 kilograms of plastic have been collected from all of these sites. Here's what you can do to help. Where possible, buy plastic-free products or plastic alternatives. Try to avoid single-use plastic as a whole. When we do buy plastic, we must make it a priority to recycle. And for a more hands-on fight against the plastic problem, why not join the 51st Beach Clean carried out by the Nautilus Project?